Good afternoon and welcome to another video by Russia UK. Now we're going to give Uber a rest on this uh, today because what we want to talk about is this government alar alarm alert system that was given off at 3 p.m. today. Now some of us would have opted out of receiving them and some frankly if you're on three didn't receive any alert at all. Now Uber has sent an email uh, to his drivers advising them how to comply whilst using their app. So what was the purpose of this alert? Well, the government's version is that they are testing this uh, system in an event of a terrorism attack, major floods, fires in your own area. Now, some people are not buying into this story. So what's my version? Well, it's a bigger fish then it's a bigger fish they are frying and don't think they want us to know and it's to do with the russian ukrainian war now the government and social media outlets have formed together to bring news which is biased towards ukraine you know you're not allowed to post any negative views uh, on social medias and news channels had to show one storyline every day relating to the war and he has to be in favor of the russia now it's been a while well it's been well, a year now and sanctions imposed on russia are not working to the extent it was expected and in the middle of all this is the uk and uk really hasn't doesn't have a view or a say in it is governed by the US. Whatever US says, UK has to listen and obey. And that's what makes their relationship special. You know, let me give you a scenario. UK is like a kid in the school playground who just needs a good hiding. But you can't give him one because he has a bigger brother who's a bully. And the same principle here. These countries, I mean, there are countries who are not really afraid of the UK, but starting a fight with the UK will mean that you start a war with America. So I hear you say, where am I going with this? Well, Russia has given them, well, the UK enough warnings, you know, telling them to stop poking its nose into the business and UK still refuses. It's also warned that if a war were to break out, then UK is in the <laughs> top list of places it's going to hit first. Now, I'm guessing here that the UK government is at a stage where they probably know things and they need to prepare for some sort of action in case something does happen. Now, if it does happen, it needs to send messages i suppose via mobile phone for instance you know if russia decides to target uh, news outlets and all that sort of thing you know they need to communicate with the people rapidly and this basically could be their answer um, sending alert system so anyway you know we all have our own story and this is um this is what i think the government is doing you know and and why isn't the government, you know, people actually listen to the government? And it's because they have lost the trust in the government. There's a lot of people who basically don't trust the government anymore. And for us drivers, it's like Uber with his um, holiday pay, you know, included in every job. You know, it's, it is not because it's confusing. It's because there's other things Uber doing at the same time. You know, they're using that amount of money to basically pin a, you know, pinch a bit out of, for their own pocket. And hence, why people just don't want that. The drivers don't want that. You know, they just don't trust Uber um, in doing that. If anything, that, you know, that pay on Tuesday, you know, I don't like it because it's like a lump sum and, you know, it, it doesn't give you a real earning tally on, on a Tuesday. But I still have it because I just don't trust Uber. And the same thing here as well. The British people just don't trust the government as much. Anyway, I'll leave this um, recording for now and I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye now.